Hello and welcome to GrossyMath.com where math is for everyone. Today we're going to solve a word problem or actually translate a word problem uh, by reading it and turning it into algebra. So let's get started. All right. So in this problem we're using a skill tra called translation. Uh, similar to translating English to Spanish or Spanish to English. Math is also a language so you can translate math, uh, English to math. Uh, math is a special kind of language. It's a language about patterns. Okay, so uh, do you add, do you subtract, do you multiply, do you divide? This is the language of math. All right, so we're going to take a look at our word problem here. Now, I have a different way of teaching this than many teachers. Some teachers say students should read the whole entire problem to look for clues. I think students should look for keywords, and especially that students should read the question first. So just in case you don't like reading uh, word problems, you can basically cut it way down by reading the question first. Okay, so let's go through the process here. Step one, I'm going to read the question. So step one, read the question. Which system of equations can be used to find G, the number of gold coins, and S, the number of silver coins in his collection? Okay, it doesn't matter all of this. All of this we could have not read. It's not that important. It just tells us that we're using the letter G and the letter S. Big deal. We see that in the answers. This part, in the little brown box here, this is important. Which system of equations? When they say which, they mean what matches. Which system? A system means that there's more than one equation. And look, each choice has two equations. So the word system means two equations, and that's what I see in my answer choices. So again, I could have gotten rid of all that red. I don't have to read any of that. Also, I don't really care about his gold and silver coins. Whatever. We can get rid of that little story part. There is no math there. Math is a language of patterns. So let's look for some math. So step two is look for math. And patterns. And step three is make or match the patterns to the algebra. Okay, so let's check it out. His gold coins are worth twelve hundred, so gold is worth twelve hundred dollars. That seems like a pattern. I should see the number twelve hundred and the letter G together somewhere in my answer. This does not have twelve hundred and G. This does not have twelve hundred and G. So he's out. This does not have twelve hundred and G. This does not have twelve hundred and G. So he's out. This one has twelve hundred and G. So that looks good. This one has twelve hundred and G. So that's good. Okay, so the first pattern we saw was that each gold coin is worth 1200. So that's a pattern. Because each coin is worth an additional 1200. That's a pattern. 1200, 1200, 1200, 1200, 1200 for each coin. Okay, silver coins are worth 20. So let's silver 20. So we know that silver is 20. So we should also see somewhere in our answer choice that 20 and S go together. Uh, look, this one has it, and this one has it. Okay, so let's see. So that means 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 for each silver coin. That's a pattern. He's got 66 coins worth $8,400. Okay, so if I add up his gold plus his silver, it should equal 66 coins. Gold plus silver equals 66. Okay, so we can see that this one has gold plus silver equals 66, and this one says gold minus silver equals 66. No, he has a total of 66 coins. Of course, we add the gold and the silver to make the 66. So this one makes much more sense. So right away, I think this is my answer, but G minus S equals 66. That doesn't even make sense. And then finally it says that they're worth 8400. Well if I add up the 1200 for each coin and the 20 for each silver coin, I get 8400. 
That's the pattern. Again, this isn't, I'm not doing any math right now. I'm literally reading the words in the problem and just changing those words to algebra. The pattern I see is he's got 66 coins. So this is a pattern. I add up them, I add them up and I get 66. And, or they're worth 8,400. I add up the values and I should get 8,400. And where do I see that? I see that right here in choice H. All right, so that's how you do these kinds of problems. You just get in there and find the math, find the patterns, and match the patterns to the algebra. So those are your three steps for solving word problems when you have to translate from English to mathematics. All right, I hope you learned something today. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to click the bell icon. And of course, to visit the website at www.grossymath.com.